Hello, how do you do today? Stop me. First time Carrie and I met. We met last June at a singles ward in Mesa. It was at a singles ward in Mesa, Arizona. I had been living there for a couple weeks. And uh, I was running late to church a little bit. I was running late to church. I remember it was super hot, so I probably was just like sweaty and looked really gross. So I walked in during the sacrament and I sat down on one of the couches in the foyer. And a couple minutes later, um, Will came in. I walked into the foyer and I thought about going into the sacrament meeting, but I saw a uh, sexy little blonde sitting on the couch in the foyer. The seat next to her was vacant. So uh, I proceeded to sit next to her. I just remember thinking he was super cute. Um, I tried to like play it cool and not like, you know, have a huge grin on my face or anything creepy. She kind of looked at me a little bit funny and I thought, hey, might as well talk to her. So I took it upon myself to be his welcome committee. She asked me if I would like to go on a tour of the church. So I said, okay, uh, take me on a tour. We started walking around the building and I was just kind of like showing him where Sunday school was. She started walking around saying, oh, this is the classroom. Here's the bathroom. This is the bishop's office. Every single church building is the same. So I don't know what she was getting at, but. I was just using any excuse I could to hang out with him for a little bit longer. And then after church, when I was walking out to my car, I noticed her leaving at the same time. I started walking with him and we were just talking. And She took me over to her car, which was right by my car. And she started fumbling with her keys, you know, doing the old one, two. Uh, he asked me for my number and uh, score. Oh, this is how it was pretty sweet. I had thought of the idea to get some beach cruiser bicycles and go riding around um, a park or something. And I found out her favorite place to eat was Costa Vida. So we ended up going to Costa Vida. We went to Costa Vida and we ate and we were walking um, around his truck and I saw like handlebars sticking up from the back. I was going to surprise her but she noticed them sticking out of the back. I can tell you I like, tried to cover it up, but there's a handlebar, handlebar sticking out, so you obviously missed it. In the end, it worked out. We got the beach cruisers and we set sail. So we started riding around the parking lot and you know, like showing off, doing tricks and stuff, and typical first date, trying to show him what he's missing out on. And <laughs> So yeah, we just cruised around and we were laughing, having a good time. I think she really enjoyed it. And then after that, we went to her place and watched a movie. We watched a movie and, uh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Brighter than the sun. Love, it's a special day. We should celebrate and appreciate. something pretty neat and I know some say this day is arbitrary but it's a good excuse but I love to use baby I know what to do baby I I will love you I'll love you I'll love you love the first time we kissed. It was actually on a ward camp out. All of our stuff revolves around like singles ward activities. They work. We had invited Carrie to come up with us in my truck. I just remember just 
flirting with him on the way up. I remember he had like a donut and I like reached over and took a bite out of it like before he could or just kind of like flirting and you know playing with his radio station and stuff. And We got to the campsite and I started unloading my stuff and Carrie said that she wanted to sleep under the stars that night. We get there and it's colder than we thought and I didn't really like back super warm and uh, so everyone kind of wusses out and goes into cabins. I said, oh, actually, I think I'm going to sleep in my truck, in the bed of it, or, I don't know, in my truck. I was like, uh, okay, I'll come. <laughs> so he slept in, like, the driver's side, and I, I got in the passenger side, and we, like, reclined the chairs and stuff, and we were just talking. I wasn't really planning on kissing her that night, since we had not yet gone on an official date, but the chemistry was so, there, so much there, and the sparks were flying that I just had to do it. We were just being super flirty, and... I don't know, there's chemistry, like you can you could just feel it, it's just natural. So uh, I reached over and grabbed her neck and gave her a smoocheroo. I just thought it was way cool that he had the guts to do that. And then um, right after that we stayed up for like another hour just talking and I thought that was really cool because he was trying to get to know me still and Valentine. Oh, it was fun. at midnight on December 27th. So it was the day after Christmas and during Christmas that's all I've been thinking about is getting engaged to Carrie and it was a really nerve-wracking experience because obviously I've never been engaged before and asking a girl no matter how much you think she'll say yes is always a little intimidating. I knew it was gonna happen but I didn't think it would happen until like a week or two or I, I was thinking like New Year's Eve that'd be awesome like fireworks you'd proposed and everything and so that's kind of like what I had pictured. So I figured I'd throw her off um, on that first night that she flew in and before she had even seen my family or anything I would ask her to marry me. He stepped off the plane he's standing there with like roses and it was just super cute. It was a really special moment because we had hadn't seen each other for two days which was the longest we hadn't seen each other and the whole time we've been dating. And so we get the keys and we get in the car we start driving home and and uh Everything seemed normal to me. I mean, we were just super happy to see each other. And when we get there, and all the lights are off, but all the cars are there. So Will's like, oh, they must be asleep. Like, let's go around back. I said, oh, crap, the front door is locked. My parents are gone. We're going to have to go around to the back. Little did you know, I had uh, decorated the deck a little bit with some Christmas goodies, some hot cocoa, and some Christmas candles with a little bit of uh, mistletoe hanging. So with that, with those touches of Christmas spirit, I knew she was bound to say yes. We walk around back and we get like to the porch and they have these steps up their back porch and they were all wrapped in Christmas lights and there's a Christmas tree and I was just like, wow, like you guys must love Christmas. I tried to open the door and I was like, oh dang, it's locked here too. And then she kind of was looking around like, what the heck, like this is kind of a weird setup. There's a Christmas tree and some candles, some hot cocoa. I see like hot cocoa and it was steaming, so I'm like, okay, something's going on here. Once I saw that look on her face, I knew I had to, uh, bam, ask the question before she became too conclusive. And so I get down on one knee and that was the real deal. I uh, got down on one knee and I can't even remember what I said. Uh, my heart was pounding really bad, I remember. I probably said one sentence of something romantic before I asked her if she wanted to marry me. And he tells me how much he loves me and he wants to be with me forever. And it was really fast, like he said like two sentences and then he asked me to marry him and I was just like, yes! And gave him a big hug and a kiss and all of a sudden all the lights turn on and his family comes outside with cameras and they'd been like hiding inside the windows like taking pictures and stuff. And it was nice to have my family there too, to uh, celebrate it with us, that special moment. And we took some pictures and had some hot cocoa, went inside and celebrated the good news.
Forever could never be long enough for me I feel like I've had long enough with you Forget the world now, we won't let them see But there's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted my way Marry me Today and every day Marry me If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe Say you will Together could never be close enough for me To feel like I am close enough to you You wear white and I wear out the words I love you And you're beautiful Now that the wait is over And love has finally showed her my Say you will